Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to have skill. You are in the middle. I'm in the middle, fellas. Look, today we are going to have a comparison between two extremely popular tanks, which is Su-130 PM and the Scorpion. A lot of people are considering which tank is better for them and uh, uh, how the things are looking like overall. So first things first, first, I want to go to the overall stats over there, what we have, and we are comparing the tank with pretty much the same setup over there, right? So if you would pay attention at the DPM, they are pretty much, both of the tanks are identical. If we are speaking about accuracy, Scorpion has 0.26 on the paper and Su has 130, but pretty much both of the tanks are identical, speaking about accuracy as well, honestly. Um, you can hit, you can miss. There is nothing what you can change about this. Moving on next, uh, the hit points armor, both of them are made out of paper. There is nothing to say, nothing to do. Uh, now, the very important thing, mobility. Now you might think, but skill, okay, I'm looking into the paper and I do not understand why Scorpion is so much more agile. It is way more agile, fellas, by humongous margin. That's why you cannot, um, that's why you cannot trust what you are seeing on the paper. Even though on the paper Scorpion has uh, pretty much lower top speed and just tiny touch better, Specific power to weight ratio, it is way faster than the Su-130 PM. Su-130 PM is not even close for being quick and this is important thing to highlight. Now moving on next, uh, what do you have over there and what do you see here? The camo is actually um, way, way, way better on the Su. I really want to highlight this. If you would pay attention over there, Scorpion has pretty much no camo whatsoever and Su has a great camo. This is... Um, and that's why Su-130 is so much better for beginners, in my opinion. This is super important thing to say, and this is super important thing to highlight overall, right? So, once again, in my opinion, Su can snipe from the back. Su is a great tank destroyer for pretty much anyone, but for beginners, it is going to fit so much more than Scorpion. On the other hand, Scorpion is so much more... Um, flexible in order to approach the enemies to play in the city maps because you have a turret you are way quicker so you can relocate faster but it's way harder tank to play with like like a day and night and also one more thing which i really want to share uh, with you boys and girls ladies and gentlemen if you would pay attention at the things over there, uh, you would notice we have the index page and we are uh, rating the tanks. So the difference between Su, as you can see, uh, <clears throat> the biggest difference over there between those two tanks are the mobility. Scorpion is very, very quick. Su is a bit slower than Scorpion is. Uh, hold down performance pretty much the same because they have the same gun depression. And <clears throat> that's about it. Other than that, they would be kind of identical tanks and I even mark it over there to say this tank is not beginner friendly. It is very hard tank to play with and I am speaking about the Scorpion itself. While Su is being absolutely amazing. I really wanted to throw this out of the way because maybe you are thinking about getting Scorpion for yourself or alternatively playing with Su. Obviously use the comment section down below to agree or disagree with me. Um, I think gun handling are pretty much the same on both of the vehicles health and uh, uh, that's what I have to say. So now without further ado, let's go and play some games with a Su-130. It is super important and I haven't played with this tank in a while. So without further ado, enough of talks, let's go to play. Okay, so the very first game we have Erlenberg Assault. So pretty much we are defending the base so we can be very, very calm and we can play slowly this battle if I can say so. Also, one more thing, if you really want to increase this tank mobility, you can always consider using the... Uh, using the turbo and that could help this tank to get a bit closer uh, together with the scorpion speaking about the mobility wise right other than that obviously the gameplay is quite straightforward you are hugging the red line and you are enjoying ourselves while sniping um, from the back I understand if this gameplay is not for every single person I am very very well aware of that and I know exactly what some of you might think is skill, but it's just how it goes. This is the gameplay of this vehicle. Moving on next. Now speaking about the gun. 
243 mm of penetration, that's pretty nice. Shell velocity is okay. Now, heat penetration. Shell velocity is uh, the same, but you are going up to 320 mm of penetration with the heat shells. And that's good. And that's very good. And now, um, even more important part of all this, at least that's what I would say. This tank has very, very nice high explosives. AK 65 mm of penetration is, is quite good. And you can penetrate tanks like Su in the face without thinking too much. The first shot we managed to miss, but the second one we are hitting. And now Rev is considering his life choices. He is saying, oh no, what the flying F I have done. And unfortunately for us, he is escaping. But we have another victim to spank as you can see uh, the guy is sitting in the open field and we are missing our shot shame I said the gun is pretty accurate on this vehicle and I truly keep my opinion the same way I honestly think you can hit many many shots with this vehicle but sometimes rng is stronger than any tank accuracy in other words if rng is saying no for you that means no and it doesn't really matter um what the paper is saying it doesn't matter do you have 0.1 or 0.6 accuracy <coughs> cover two you are going to hit or you are going to miss it doesn't really matter even if you are aiming on you are not aiming as wrong as it sounds okay this game is looking great skill what do you mean this game is looking great your team is losing give me a moment fellas losing is not necessarily that bad whenever you are playing with a tank destroyer because whenever your team is losing by um quite a margin you can spank enemies like there is no tomorrow. Believe me, this is very important thing to highlight. Whenever enemies will try to get a bit involved for us, we are going to make sure they are going to regret their life choices. I can promise you that. And that works usually very, very well. So looking into all of this, even though we are losing by 4,000 hit points, it doesn't change the fact we can still get a lot of, a lot of use for ourselves. Look at this. This guy went in front, he took 500 in the face, that's good, and this is exactly what I want to see. Now we are relocating a bit, we are changing angle, and we are going to spank this chi -ri! Chiri is going straight to the garage, he's not very happy with his performance, but there is nothing what this gentleman could have done differently, and now we can go up like this. Now, as you can see, we have a nice angle for the Vaka. We are spanking Vaka, and we are enjoying ourselves to the maximum. Meanwhile, we are seeing the light tank trying to get involved and to go in front like there is no tomorrow. This is very important shot, I'm going to snap him and we are spanking him for um, 500 in the face. That's very good. Now we have a turtle who is trying to go in front and say no. So who is the best tank destroyer? And I am saying I am other tracker, I am, what do you expect? Now he is going just like so, good, it doesn't really matter too much. Actually that matters. Can we eliminate this guy before turtle will reload? No, not so much. Okay, that's okay. Look. Even though our team is losing this game by quite a margin, you can say whatever you want. To get 3000 damage, 600 assisting damage in 4 minutes just like so, it is pretty good. And I think we played very very well this game to our abilities. If not the gun handling which trolled us a bit, we would have not, a, not 3000 damage but we would have 5. But you know, it is how it is. Anyways, let's teleport to the scoreboard. I really want to show this finish fellas. The hero of the day, T25-2. He's carrying our team balls. <coughs> Together with uh, Amike's 1357F. Those two gentlemen soloed every single mother trucker who, uh, who we are incoming for them. Such a beautiful play. Such a beautiful play by those two guys. And they made sure we are going to win this game. I was looking at this and I was thinking, is it? Is it actually possible they are going to carry our dirty baboon red ass? And here you go. Victory! 
Very nice. I'm super happy about this. So what do we have? We have 3000 damage. We have 700 assisting damage. But most importantly, how much our T25 and AMAX did. And look at this beauty. T25 slash 2, in my opinion, very underrated tank. And did um, 4.4 thousand damage with 1.5 base experience. Beautiful play. Also, AMAX 1357. He was extremely useful part of this game. He slaughtered Artas. He went for a base defense in time and they carried our baboon but meanwhile let's focus on the start of the star of today's youtube video so 1 30 pm we made 70,000 profits while sniping from the red line nice let's go for round number two okay pilsen 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 and what we supposed to do in this map Okay, first things first, what I am interested in, I want to go into the middle. This is very important thing. I think the middle is very underrated of this map. Why middle is so important, even with the tank destroyers? Because you can actually spank enemies whoever are crossing uh, um, through the open field. And this is very, very important thing to highlight. And uh, um, a lot of people are not taking opportunities to spank someone whoever is moving like this. Or alternatively, um, people are not taking opportunities to... Um, or people are simply going through the middle and being spanked themselves. This is important thing to say. Meanwhile, we are sitting in the position where we want to be. And now we want to see enemies doing something silly. Uh, for example, this LTTB, he decided to be super aggressive. Good, I like aggressive LTTBs. Especially whenever they are over peaking here. Now, it's matter of the time whenever this gentleman will say... Who who is living here on the corner and whenever he is going to say that we are going to say 520 alpha damage is living uh, here on the corner that's what we are going to do and that's what we are going to say also i am paying attention hi also i am paying attention um behind me whenever this gate will be destroyed enemies will have so so much better angles to punish me right so i need to pay attention and i need to think um and i need to think what i am doing and how am i playing this game it is important thing to say meanwhile i think LTTB took one for the team and now obviously he is going to be so much passive over there so what i want to do in Instead, instead, I want to take this position right here and I want to wait until my binos will start doing the dirty job. Um, obviously, alternative option with this tank is to use the... Alternative option is to use the um, optics with this vehicle. It can truly work, but I prefer to go with the binos because this tank is just uh, um, perfect for that sense. Mm. Since you are not uh, going to play in the front lines most of the time anyways, right? Since you are sniping from the back, Binus is just a bit more useful if that makes sense. Meanwhile, LTTB. I see. I see LTTB. I see. Okay. Let's wait until he will try to go up. In fact... I'm not going to wait until he will go up. I'm going to relocate completely from here. The thing is, if we are doing the simple maths, we have the two guns who are playing in this area, right? And this is not good enough. So I need to run for my life at this point. I just simply need to run for my life. Meanwhile, I see the Panther sitting over there. Doesn't really change absolutely anything. And we are just running for our life. I want to get close for Kan Panzer. Hopefully this Kan Panzer is going to take me under his um, under his wing. And hopefully we will be able to spank the Love or anyone else. Whoever will try to get um, whoever will try to get involved. Now, one more important thing. Even though on the paper this vehicle is saying 65 kilometers per hour, you are reaching the speed only whenever you are cliff diving. Um, this is super important thing to say and that's why the mobility of this vehicle is rated uh, in the index page lower than Scorpion. Scorpion, in other words, Scorpion has definitely way better mobility, fellas. There is nothing to hide, there is nothing to say, it's just how it goes. Meanwhile, uh, our team is still holding this side relatively well, so how about... If we would play somewhere around this area, maybe it is going to be a bit better for us. What do you think about that, fellas? What do you think about that? Hmm. 
LTTB decided to be very very aggressive, he is not going to enjoy this for obvious reasons. I have an idea. We want to knock this gate. Now, if Indian will try to go in, which is a big possibility, we should be able to spank him in the face. Hmm, Shrek is making pressure like this, this side is completely cleared out. Very hard game. Would I have an easier situation with a scorpion? With all honesty, no, not really. With all honesty, I would not have better situation, fellas. It would be literally the same thing, and we would still need to figure out how we can approach the enemies and how we can spank them. One more thing which I want to say about this tank, this camo is kicking ass. Mm, this camo is looking very, very nice, fellas. Meanwhile, NTD, LTTB is sitting in the open field over there. Well, not so open field, but we will make him suffer and we will make him regret his life choices. 3 to 1 now. I'm trying to go for a blind shot and I think I tracked him. I think I tracked him or I did a critical hit for this guy. Anyways, let's wait until the binos will start working. I'm pretty sure I am safe from the Shreks. And look at this beauty. Boom, LTTB is dead. Now we are going to say hello for Mr. Panther too. He's not going to enjoy himself. We are just waiting until the moment, until enemy starts making a silly goose mistakes. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is quite a mistake from the enemy's side. I would say this is quite a mistake from the enemy side, fellas. Speaking about mistakes, let's load high explosives and let's spank him. 640 in the face. Shrek is crying in the corner. Shrek is very, very unhappy about his life choices and uh, about the game he did and he is going straight to the garage. That's nice. What do we want to do now? The Panther 2 is still sitting over there. I'm not entirely sure did I penetrated him or not, but there is only one way to check it out. We are getting, going into position and we are waiting until Binus will start working. Since Binus is working, we know he has the full hit points and we know he is cut by a third. Two more shots and he is going to die. Nice. Very, very good. Okay. Let's stay safe and let's wait until enemies will get involved more. Patience. Patience. Pixel shot. Mm, unfortunate. I could have waited a bit longer. As you can see, since this tank has a very, very good camo, it is not so simple to eliminate this tank from the game. And I believe I do not need to highlight this because it's kind of uh, self explanatory. Let's see. Okay, not what I am looking for. I repeat, not what I am looking for. At this point, we are sitting in the deep shit hole. At this point, I need to take this bush before it's too late. It is very, very important. If I will be able to get in the bush, hopefully we will be able to get a couple of more shots before this game will go to the ass. Slowly but surely. Camo is very important in this kind of situation. We have plenty of bushes to play in, which is very, very nice, but we still need to do a lot of, a lot of stuff in this game in order to, in order to punish enemies for their mistakes and for their stupidity. Binus is working, nice. Now, <clears throat> all we need to do, we need to wait until they will get involved. I am knocking this tree down, it is okay. What I am afraid of, I am afraid if they will try to make pressure like this. So in this situation, I think I want to come even closer over there, just to cover um, this position, if that makes sense, right? Just to cover this position. Mm. Hard one. Panther is making pressure. Good. We are aiming, aiming, aiming. Panther is down to one shotable. Good. Now all we need to do, we need to eliminate him from the game, and we should do that in five, in next five seconds. Three. Two, one, boom. Really? One HP? Really, RNG? What have I done wrong to you? Oi, yo, 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 yo. Okay. RNG is saying not today. Well, what can I say? RNG can be your best friend and your worst enemy in the same time. In this kind of situation, I think RNG is our enemy. 
Now the thing is, the Panther will try to figure out how to get um, closer here and how to outspot us, but the problem is we cannot spot anyone sitting over there, that's the problem. Uh, and unfortunately, but I cannot do absolutely anything about this apart killing this guy just- No! Why would you do this to me, game? Why? <sighs> okay, fellas, that's the Sue in action. Um, it is so sad. RNG pretty much throw with us completely in this game, and I do not accept this defeat, fellas. All we needed, we needed to normally roll the Panther 2, and we would be fine. Then we would start eliminating them one by one, getting closer. But since RNG said no, that means no. Well, shame, fellas. What can we do? Cry every single time, I guess. Anyways, in the end of the day, we crafted 3.4 thousand damage. Um, we are top by uh, by the damage. We are top by experience. Once again, I'm feeling sad about the RNG which we had in this game, but we need to accept this. And in the end of the day, we have the 68,000 profits, which is uh, which is okay considering the situation. All in all, we played two games with this tank, and we got 3.2 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage. Once again, nothing to be proud of, but we cannot say it was a horrible performance or something. And I think this tank is kind of equal um, competitor against the, against the Scorpion for obvious reasons. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, at this point, whenever I am, whenever you are seeing this video, probably Skill is enjoying Croatian Sun uh, and I'm having pretty good time. I, I, I probably uh, can tell you that, fellas. Uh, and once again, if you are from Croatia and if you want to say hi for me, hit me up on Insta. Um, I am going to be in the Dubrovnik region. Um, just simply uh, um, Google in the Insta or search in Insta Baboon Paradise and you are going to find us. Thank you very much for everything and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace. Brrr.